So the key ingredient uh, for nuclear energy or nuclear weapons is the fuel, which can be either uranium or plutonium. So how to get them? Well, uranium you can find in nature, but less than 1% of natural uranium is suitable for nuclear applications. So you need to extract this 1% to produce what is called enriched uranium. Plutonium you can't find in nature. You need to produce it in nuclear reactors. So getting this nuclear fuel is difficult because these techniques are hard to master and require huge investments, which limits access to uh, nuclear applications. When you master these techniques for energy production, you master them also for military use. Yet, it takes much more to get to military applications. You face several constraints, such as a fuel that needs to be of a much higher quality and hence more difficult to produce. And also, military use means that you need to be able to deploy your nuclear weapons. Ballistic missiles or rockets that are propelled to high altitudes before their charge undergoes a free fall under the force of gravity, giving this ballistic trajectory. Uh, they can reach a very large range, carrying charges from one continent to another. And even if they are easy to detect because they fly at high altitudes, their speed at impact is so high that they are very difficult to intercept. Hence, the real danger comes from the combination between nuclear weapons and ballistic missiles. And all these technical aspects on nuclear fuel and ballistic missiles are important to understand the action of the European Union in reaching a nuclear deal with Iran or trying to address the tensions with North Korea.